Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Saya buat video ni khas untuk MAT 235, calculus 2 for engineers, question and answer. Right? Okay, this is a sample of student works. Ni daripada your friend, your classmate. Okay, the question is integrate x ln x plus 7 dx. Okay. This is actually under integration by parts, okay? Tapi, let's say, if you want to try with integration by you substitution, okay? Katakan awak tak tahu nak guna method apa, so let's say first you want to try using you substitution to integrate this question. Kita tengok kalau let's say kita guna uh, you substitution, apa jadi, okay? Untuk soft soalan yang ni. Okay, every time when we integrate using u substitution, first, what should we do? Okay, right, first, we need to identify u. Okay, let's say lah awak pilih u equals to ln x plus 7. Okay, and every time when we use u substitution, after we identify u, we need to find du over dx. Okay. Alright, so means that we need to differentiate, okay? So, if we differentiate u with respect to x, we have du over dx. And then, if we differentiate ln x plus 7, it is equals to 1 over x plus 7. And then, times, tepinya kena darab dengan differentiate in bracket. Okay, but when we differentiate x plus 7, we got... 1 plus 0, which is 1. So, 1 times any value still equals to the given value, okay? The original value, alright? So, uh, yang ini masih lagi 1 over x plus 7. So, no need to write plus, uh, sorry, times 1 here, alright? And then, ingat lagi tak? When we use u substitution, after we differentiate, we need to write dx as a subject, okay? So, from here, we just cross multiply. So, dx darat dengan 1, dapat dx equals to x plus 7 du, okay? Ini under u substitution, kita kena identify u and then differentiate and then write dx as a subject, okay? After that, okay, so we substitute into this question, okay? Therefore, this is the given question, integration of x ln x plus 7 dx, okay? So, kita ganti satu per satu, okay? Equals to integration of x ln x plus 7 ni, okay? Ln x plus 7 adalah u. So, darab dengan u, okay? And then dx, okay? Dx adalah x plus 7 du. Okay, kita gantikan satu per satu. Okay. Can we simplify all variable x from here? And can we write all in terms of u and du? We will not succeed in writing in terms of u and du only. So, in this case, this method is actually wrong, okay? We cannot integrate this question using u substitution. Why? Because we cannot simplify all in terms of variable x and we never can write in terms of u and du only, right? To solve this question, the suitable method is we need to use integration by part. Okay, so from this question, we have integration of x times ln x plus 7 dx. Okay, every time when we integrate using integration by parts, first we need to identify which function as u and which function as dv. Okay, so from x here, okay, x means a, a means algebraic function. Okay. Alright, so from here, ln x plus 7 means L. L means 
logarithmic function. Okay. And then from eyelid rule, okay, L come first. Okay, from here. L come first and whichever function come first is suitable for U. Okay, so means that ln x plus 7 as U. Right? And if ln x plus 7 as U, so we can write equals to ln x plus 7 times x dx. Okay? We put the function as u in front here. Okay? So we bring x at the back. Okay? Near dx. Right? So we can write ln x plus 7 as u and then x dx equals to dv. Okay, remember dx always in dv. Okay, okay then we can write integration of u dv. And integration of u dv based on formula equals to uv minus integration of v du. Okay, this is the formula of integration by part. Okay, integration of u dv equals to uv minus integration of v du. Okay. Every time when we use integration by part, okay, we need to identify u and dv. Okay, so our u equals to ln x plus 7. Okay, and after we identify u, we need to differentiate. Okay. So, du over dx equals to 1 over x plus 7. Okay, kita differentiate ln x plus 7 equals to 1 over x plus 7. And then differentiate x plus 7 dapat 1 plus 0. 1 plus 0 equals to 1. Okay, so yang ni uh, tak berubah lah nilai dia sebab darab dengan 1. Okay, so tak perlu tulis darab 1 sini. Okay. Maksudnya tak nak tulis pun tak apa. Okay, tak nak tulis darab satu pun tak apa. Okay, and then under integration by part, uh, we need to write du. Okay, because we have du in this formula. Okay, so du equals to, yang ni darab ke sini. So, we have 1 over x plus 7 times dx. Okay, and then uh, dv pula. Okay, dv equals to, x dx. Okay. And then from dv, we need to integrate to find v. Okay. To substitute into this formula. Okay. So to find v, we need to integrate x dx. Okay. Just put integration sign. Okay. To find v. Okay. And then integrate x dx. So we have x squared over 2. Okay. Plus c. Tapi tak perlu lagi tulis plus c kat sini sebab kita belum habis lagi. Alright. After that, we need to multiply u and v. Okay, u dengan v kena darab. So, u dengan v. Okay, kita darabkan. So, kita tulis dekat sini lah. Equals to ln x plus 7 times x squared over 2. Okay. And then minus ada integration sign and then v times du. v times du. Okay, kita darabkan. Okay, so we can put minus and then integration sign v equals to x squared over 2 times 1 over x plus 7 dx. Okay. Okay, now we want to check uh, this uh, solution. Okay, we have integration of ln x plus 7 times x dx equals to integration of u dv, yang ni betul and then equals to uv minus integration of v du, ni pun betul u kita equals to ln x plus 7, yang ni betul and then differentiate du over dx equals to 1 over x plus 7 times 1, betul and then write du as a subject, so we have 1 over x plus 7 times dx yang ni pun betul Okay, and then dv equals to x dx, betul, and then integrate both side, so kita akan dapat v lah, okay, integrate dv dapat v equals to x squared over 2, ni pun betul, 
Okay. And then untuk yang di sini, uh, kalau kita compare kat sini, okay, yang ni pun betul. Okay. From here, we can write like this. Equals to half. Half here come from over 2. Okay. And then times x squared. And then time ln x plus 7 minus over 2 here means half. And half is a constant. So, we can move up from integration sign. And then x squared times 1 over x plus 7. We have x squared over x plus 7 and then dx. Right? And then... From here, we have integration sign. Means we need to integrate. Okay. But for this term, we don't need to integrate because there is no integration sign here. Okay. This is called integration by part because in this integration, we still have another integration. Okay. That's why we call it as integration by part. Okay. Dalam integration, ada integration. Okay. Right now, how to integrate x squared over x plus 2 dx? x squared here means polynomial. And this is also polynomial. Means polynomial divided by polynomial. Okay. If we have polynomial divided by polynomial. Okay. Polynomial means terms uh, containing x to the power of integer. And then there is no set symbol. Okay. No trigo function, no logarithmic function. Okay. Okay. So, to integrate polynomial over polynomial, sometimes we need to use long division. When we should use long division? Okay. If we have the degree of numerator greater or equal to the degree of denominator. Apa maksudnya tu? Maksudnya bila kuasa X yang belah atas lebih atau sama. Atau sama tu maksudnya kalau bawah ni kuasa 1, atas pun kuasa X ni kuasa 1. Okay. So kalau kuasa atasnya lebih atau sama dengan kuasa bawah, kuasa X yang bawah. So we need to use long division. Okay. Tapi make sure tak ada trigo, tak ada exponential function, tak ada ln, tak ada set. Okay, polynomial only. Okay, polynomial over polynomial. Okay, so masa ni lah kita boleh guna long division. Right? Okay, I repeat. If we want to integrate x squared over x plus 7 dx, we need to use long division. Okay, so by doing long division, x squared over x plus 7 equals to, okay, this is numerator, okay, we put inside, okay, we have x squared, okay, so we need to put 0 for any missing x, okay, maksudnya lepas kuasa 2, kena ada x kuasa 1, lepas tu constant, tapi sebab there is no constant and term containing x, so we put 0, okay, to avoid error. Okay, so letak plus 0x, kuasa 1 and then plus constant 0, okay. This is from numerator, okay, and then denominator x plus 7, so we put here, okay. And then, fikirkan x darab apa, mesti nak dapat x squared, okay. So, x times x. Okay, letak di atas kolom yang sama dengan term containing x. Okay, x times x equals to x squared. Okay, and then yang ni pun darab juga. Tadi x darab dengan x dapat x squared. 7 pun darab dengan x dapat positif 7x. Okay, ni ada two terms only. So, ni pun ada dua term lah. Okay, lepas tu nak buat apa? Kita letak bracket and minus sign. Okay. And then kita tolakkan. Okay. Okay. Bila kita tolak, kita buatlah garisan sini. X squared minus X squared. Okay. So, dapat 0. And then 0X minus 7X. Dapat 
negative 7x. Okay, so letak uh, minus sign to avoid error. Sebab kalau you tak letak minus, maybe you terbuat sini positif 7x. So, dah salah. Okay, 0 minus 7x equals to negative 7x. Okay, and then you must bring down plus 0 here. Okay, yang ni you pindah ke bawah. Okay, lepas tu you kena fikirkan x darab apa dapat negatif 7x. So, mestilah x darab dengan negatif 7. Dapatlah negatif 7x. Okay, lepas tu yang positif 7 ni pun kena darab juga dengan negatif 7. So, dapatlah x darab dengan negatif 7 dapat minus 7x. 7 time negatif 7 dapat minus 49. Okay. And after that, lagi sekali put bracket with minus sign. Okay. Okay. So, kita kena tolakkan. So, kita buat garisan. Okay. Tolak benda yang sama. So, dapat 0. Okay. Ataupun negatif 7x minus minus jadi plus 7x. So, dapat 0. No need to write 0 here. And then 0 minus minus 49. Dapat positif 49. Right? Sebab tu kena letak bracket and then minus sign. Sebab kalau tak letak, maybe you terbuat negatif 49. Dah salah. Okay? So, 0 minus negatif 49 equals to positif 49. Okay? Okay, soalan saya. Sampai bila kita nak buat long division ni? Okay, jawapannya sampai remainder, sampai yang bawah ni, degree dia kurang daripada degree divisor. Okay, sampai yang baris bawah ni kurang daripada kuasa X yang ni. Okay, kalau sampai sini kuasa X ni satu, yang ni pun satu. So, sama kuasa dia. So, belum habis lagi long division. Okay, tapi bila kita tolak yang kat sini, dia dapat remainder yang kat sini, kuasa X ni kosong. Okay, because there is no X. Okay, and then uh, yang ini kuasa X ni 1. So, sekarang degree yang ni 0, degree yang ni 1. So, it means that the degree of this remainder less than the, the degree of divisor. So, bila kuasa X yang ni kurang daripada yang ni, so kita stop long division. Okay, so bila kita stop long division, kita tulislah kat sini, this is remainder, this is quotient, and this is divisor. Okay, lepas tu kita tulislah x squared plus x, sorry, x squared over x plus 7 equals to, okay, formula dia, quotient plus remainder over divisor. Okay, so, we have x squared over x plus 7 equals to our quotient equals to x minus 7 and then plus remainder equals to 49 over divisor equals to x plus 7. Okay, ini adalah long division. Kita belum integrate lagi. Tapi sekarang kita nak integrate. Okay, so integration of x squared over x plus 7 dx equals to kita nak integrate yang ni bermaksud kita perlu integrate semua yang ni. Okay? So, kita just letak integration for both side. Okay? From here. Okay? So, integrate yang ni bermaksud kita integrate yang ni. Right? From the previous slide, we got this. Integration of x squared over x plus 7 dx equals to integration of x minus 7 plus 49 over x plus 7 dx. Okay. We got x squared over x plus 7 equals to this using long division method. Right. Right. Now, from here, we can separate the integration one by one. Okay. Let's say we separate integration of x minus 7 and then dx plus integration of 49 over x plus 7 dx. Okay. Yang ni plus ya. Sebab kat sini plus. Right. And then we integrate 
one by one. Okay, before that, we can move out constant 49 from integration sign. Okay, constant boleh pindah keluar. Eh? Okay, lepas tu, kita integrate one by one. Integrate x with respect to x equals to x squared over 2 minus integrate 7 with respect to x. We got 7x and then to integrate 1 over x plus 7 dx. Okay, from the previous slide, we have, we recall back, okay, we have u equals to, let's say if we have u equals to ln x plus 7 after we differentiate. So, we have du over dx equals to 1 over x plus 7 times 1. Okay, no need to write uh, times 1 here. Okay, this is derivative and integration is antiderivative. Okay, jadi kita reverse side. Okay, sekarang yang ni differentiate dapat yang ni. Sekarang kita nak integrate 1 over x plus 7. Okay. So, the answer equals to ln x plus 7. Okay, we still have constant 49 in front here. Okay, and then integrate 1 over x plus 7 dx. Okay, integrate this equals to ln modulus x plus 7. And then, after we done uh, integrate all, so we put plus c at the back. Okay, and then for ln, we put modulus sign. Okay, because to make the function in modulus positive value. Okay, because ln negative is error. Okay, that's why we put modulus sign so that x plus 7 always positive. Right? Okay. Or another method to integrate uh, 1 over x plus 7 dx. Okay. From this formula, okay, let's say we have integration of linear function to the power of n dx, okay. Kita pakai formula ni, so sekarang kita nak integrate 1 over x plus 7 dx equals to, okay, first using the properties of indices, we can write 1 over x plus 7 equals to x plus 7 bracket to the power of negative 1. Okay, why to the power of negative 1? Sebab yang ni tak ada apa-apa kuasa, maksudnya kuasa positif 1. Okay, maksudnya ada bracket to the power of positive 1. And then, using the properties of indices, we can move up. So, jadilah negative exponent. Alright? Okay, and then from this formula, n yang ni, ni linear. Okay, n. Yang ni pun linear. And then, yang ni kuasa n. N sekarang, equals to 1. Okay, kuasa dia sekarang equals to, sorry, equals to negative 1. Okay, so kalau n equals to negative 1, we use this formula. Okay, after we integrate linear function and then to the power of negative 1, jawapannya using this formula equals to 1 over a. a tu apa? a tu adalah coefficient of x. So in this case, a kita adalah 1. Jadi, 1 over A akan jadi 1 over 1. Okay, A kita 1. Okay, because A means coefficient of X. And then, ln and then modulus, the linear function. Kita punya linear function yang AX plus B sekarang adalah X plus 7. Okay, and then plus C. Okay, and then 1 over 1 equals to 1. So, after we simplify, so we have ln modulus X plus 7 plus C. Okay. So, kita boleh integrate uh, 1 over x plus 7 dx dan jawapannya dapat ln modulus x plus 7 sama ada the reverse side untuk yang derivative ni ataupun pakai formula linear and then to the power of negative 1. Jawapannya adalah 1 over a ln modulus linear and then plus c. Right? So, untuk integrate ini, jawapannya dapat yang ni. Okay, we still have constant 49 in front here. Right? Yang ni, kita just integrate one by one. Okay? 
So, uh, lepas daripada yang ni, okay, uh, kita dah berjaya integrate x squared over x plus 7 dx equals to x squared over 2 minus 7 x plus 49 ln modulus x plus 7 plus c. Right? So, we recall back from the previous slide. Okay, from here. Okay, kita nak integrate yang ni. And then tadi kita dapat integration of x squared over x plus 7 dx after we use long division and then we integrate this. And then we get x squared over 2 minus 7x plus 49 ln modulus x plus 7 plus c. Kita integrate yang ni. Okay. So kita substitute here. So we have half and then x squared ln x plus 7. And then minus half, yang ni kita ada half. And then yang dalam bulat ni, uh, yang dalam bracket ni, okay. From here, we replace by x squared over 2 minus 7x plus 49 ln modulus x plus 7 plus c. Okay. And then sampai sini, kita boleh expand negative half ni dengan yang dalam bracket ni. Okay, kita darab one by one. Okay. So, after we expand this, so we have half and then x squared ln x plus 7 minus half times x squared over 2, jadi 1 over 4 and then x squared and then negative times negative equals to positive and then 7 over 2 x negative times positive equals to negative 49 over 2 and then ln modulus x plus 7, negative half uh, times c equals to negative half c, which is equals to constant. So, they're still constant. So, kita boleh letak c sahaja. Okay. And then, normally, kalau c, kita letak plus. Alright. Sebab uh, yang ni constant, darab constant equals to constant. Okay. Just letak plus constant. Alright. So, this is the final answer. After we integrate x ln x plus 7 dx. Okay, dapat yang ni. Okay, tapi pada ketika nak integrate yang ni, kena guna long division. Right? Thank you. You can subscribe, like and share to support this channel. Bye. Assalamualaikum.